I normally take Thursdays off to get these book reviews filmed, but this week I was sick for the first half of the week, and then finally was able to film on Thursday, and then now I'm able to film this one today. Um, I thought I would get this done earlier in the day, but things have been crazy and I'm just getting home from a football game, which my school won. Um, anyways, so today's book review is Sanctuary by Tracy Hunter Abramson, and this is one that is book three in her Guardian series. And at first, my first start of these series, I started listening to them, and the guy who narrated it on the audiobook just did not, he sounded bored. Um, so I just couldn't finish. So I got the book, started reading the book, and then got into the book that way, and then got the CD again. I was able to listen to it that way again. Um, if I read ahead and listened here and there with the guy. Um, and then the second book I was drawn in and was able to just read that one. And then this third book, I listened to part of it and then took the book on a road trip and finished it along with another book that I was halfway through. Um, but this one, it she draws you in from the very first, this is, let's see, I don't think I told you the title, it's Sanctuary by Tracy Hunter Abramson. There we go. And she draws you in from the very beginning. Um, she starts lo lining up the plot. It's late, so if I don't make sense, I'm sorry. Um, she lines up the start of the climax, and I feel like Tracy Hunter Abramson is one of the authors that will have you on the roller coaster of these climaxes, like the high points in the book, and then you just go down, and then you have high points, and then low, and from the very beginning, she just has a lot of drama in this book. Um, the two main characters, the female goes through some stuff in her past that set the tone for um, her at this point where the book starts. Um, a person she thought, um, well, she was in love with, dies, and he kind of comes back to life, and there's a whole adventure, and you learn why, from his point of view, why he had to fake his death, and what all went on that way. So, but it is a very interesting book. She pulls you in from the beginning. Um, she makes you think that it's one way, that it's one person, but then they, she throws in something different and gets you thinking otherwise. And then it's just one big um, mystery book that gets you thinking one way, and she throws something in to another. So I hope it makes sense. It's 10 o'clock and I'm ready for bed. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in next week's book review. Bye guys.